Hello, this is Dr. Janes, and today we're going to talk about shrink ray physics, the science of shrink rays. Is it possible to create something like Ant-Man, where you can take a full-size person and shrink them down? Or Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, to shrink a person with a shrink ray or an object? And I've actually come up with a theory on how to do such a thing, and I'd like to share that with you. I believe the physics is there. It could be possible. It's just an engineering challenge to figure out how to do it. Wait, wait. Take a look at this device over here. Don't touch that button. Wait. Ah! Okay, here we have a normal sized atom. Okay, a normal atom has protons and neutrons in the middle, and they're encircled or orbited by electrons. The electrons are actually 200 times lighter than a particle called a muon. So if you take the electrons and replace them with muons, the atom will actually shrink 200 times in size. If you had a solid object and you had a shrink ray of either neutrinos, which can convert electrons into muons, or just muons, the object should shrink down in size since the electron orbits should be 200 times closer with the muon. The object will shrink to the size of 200 times smaller, but it'll still have the same weight. Where if we consider something like Ant-Man, where he has super strength, but he is still small, the real Ant-Man, he can be shrunk down, but still super dense. He would still weigh his full weight. You could have a man Ant-Man small enough to sit in your hand, but he still weighs 200 pounds. This is how this type of technology would work. One of the limitations, though, is that if, if you could produce such a neutrino ray, or muons, or bombard matter with muons, the half-life of a muon is only a microsecond, which is very short you would have to have a very intense beam of radiation. The question is, a few engineering challenges. Can an object or a living human being withstand being bombarded by so much radiation? The neutrinos might be less radiation. They might do less damage to the bonds, the chemical bonds that hold the material together. But no one's ever produced such a neutrino ray before, or even a muon ray. With current technology, a huge accelerator would be required to build such a shrink ray. But, but the physics is there, and I believe it should be feasible. Only time will tell.